during the trade, sometimes it feels like it's a coin toss. Should I enter at the highs or the lows? And this is where it gets interesting for me. I like to take the trades up here, but most trading strategies say if you want to go lower, make sure that you break this lower low before entering into the trade. But for me, this is the best odds on a coin toss. Yes, we have the possibility of it going down and then coming right back up to where we entered into the trade, but let's not be fooled. You can have that same exact problem if you enter into the trade lower. So when analyzing where to enter on these two trades, here's some things to consider. Obviously getting in on the high side, price could go down, come back up to make a double top or even go higher. But to me, that's a benefit because it gives me another look to take another trade at a higher price and double down, adding more money to the position. And just because we enter here doesn't mean that price can't come back up making equal or higher highs. We see all the time cup and handle patterns. Even back up to this old high would be higher than where we got in and our trade would be losing. And we have to remember, this is a reversal pattern. All of these patterns are bullish. So we're trying to make a reversal happen out of these bullish up runs versus entering into the trades here. Once we break these higher lows, making lower lows, that confirms a bearish signal. Remember, if you get in at the highs, it's all about where your lower strike is, the calls that you sold. And the same is true if you wait for that lower low to break. It's all about where your strike price is. And when you enter into a trade after a bullish up run impulse wave, this reversal pattern that we just looked at will take time. But after this consolidation, consolidation, an impulse wave lower will take place. And that's one thing to consider. Once we break these lows, the response time is pretty quick without so much guessing of what's going to go on up here. Which pattern you in? How long is it going to take? I've always found that entering into trades at the highs does me better than entering in trades at the lows. If for some reason I entered into a down trade here, that wouldn't have been a very good low because it went up from there before coming back down. And that's one of my problems with getting into a trade at lows instead of highs on a breakout strategy or in this case, a breakdown strategy. Just in a simple review, if you enter here, at the low range box duplication is your target which this worked out but that only means from your entry point to your target is what you're hoping to capture and profit rather than if you get in at the highs having a range box duplication gives you a much greater potential for potential profit and this is where the five parts of every trade are important we talk about trend momentum support and resistance all the time but price movement and days of movement are very important too when looking at any kind of harmonic pattern we see that there's a lot of different options that can take place price bouncing back and forth before any consideration of going lower. In some cases, we'll see where price stays under our strike price. In other cases, we'll see where price comes over our lower strike price. Calculating these moves is very important when picking out which option and how long to be in it. Like here, we came into resistance. Right now, it seems like maybe we have a head and shoulders pattern at least a W reversal pattern. So the question is how much time to give this pattern based off this candlestick right here. And basically one of the things to consider is sideways channel. If price didn't really go higher or lower from here, what would it look like? We see it all the time, but we've mostly been focusing on an up channel and a little bit of the down channel. So now it's time to highlight the horizontal channel. One way is take highs and lows and just look at the past movements, find an area and duplicate it and duplicate it and duplicate it. I know real scientific, right? Well, from these highs, these lows starting after a down trend starting before a breakout gives us this little range box price comes in there goes high breaks below then we see price low here high here gives us a breakout here comes up to the high here comes down to the low here see a breakout here so now we can measure this move with a little consideration 80 days and so maybe this would be shortened a little bit maybe we could come into here taking about 65 days maybe we shorten this one up a little bit 65 days and we shorten this one up a little bit 70 days move this one back just a little 80 days. So if we were to add all those up where price kind of went sideways before making a breakout gives us an average of 70 days. And since this one was 72 days, we could duplicate that up to where we're considering entering into the trade. Then make sure if we enter into this trade, we have an option that would last over 72 days. Okay. We got resistance, resistance, and right now we're against resistance. And probably like me, all I'm focusing on is this, oh, making all this money. Surely price is going to fall off immediately from here, giving me huge profit. Let's just draw a little bit of consolidation. Measure this over for days and it takes 50 days. Measure over for days and it's 50 days. Measure over. 48, 75, something to consider, and 35. If we average these out, we'd come up with about 45 days. So the consideration is, do you take a 45 day trade here and make all of this money? Well, here's another thing to think about. How about every time it moves down, how far does it move down and how many days does that take? This moved down 15%, the big C, 48%, 20%, 20%, 14%, 12%, giving us an average of 18%. So from here, we'll consider that this would come down 18%. And how many days did it take? 17 days, 35 days, 75 
45 days, 50 days, 32 days, and 26 days. So when averaging out all of the days, sideways channel, the downward potential, and the days that it took for a downward trade to work out, I like this range box. And if we were to move that range box up to here, in consideration of this trade, we could say price goes higher or lower from here. This would be my first consideration of target just over past results. I have a probability of it going down here based off past results, which comes into my highs. So that kind of makes sense. And I do have a lower support level of a possibility, giving me three targets lower. With 75 days, I would need to go out to the correct month of the option chain, which this is a little frustrating because it doesn't give me December or January. So now I have to choose November or February. And these are all things to consider when taking trades. So is this the best trade, even though I'm up against resistance and I see the possibility of it falling off? All right, here's another one up against resistance. Let's highlight all of our down trades. High to low, 12 days, 30%. High to low, 42 days, 24%. High to low, 60 days, 14%. High to low, 37 days, 16%. High to low, 13 days, 20%. High to low, 23 days, 23%. High to low, 25 days, 25% giving you on average about 1% a day. This one giving you the average move in days, duplicated up. Now in consideration of sideways movement, 60 days, 70 days, 60 days. Take this one for average. And here's the consideration. Even though I'm up against resistance based on past history of results, if I get in on the high side of this, instead of waiting for the breakout, I have to consider that this could take up to 70 days for sideways channel to take place before going lower. So a couple considerations is make sure price is high as as possible so my lower strike price gives me the ability for any pattern to happen making sure i'm still profitable make sure i get the length of time on my first entry point over 75 days giving the biggest possibility for this trade to work out when it comes to entering into a trade or the time management it will take for that trade to work out and these are some things to consider when picking out price movement and expiration dates because price movement and days of movement are big parts of every trading plan that need to be considered